Hey guys, welcome back. It's Shelby and today we are going to do a fast, easy, fun DIY craft. We're going to be decorating a candle holder. So I have this, which is very much a juice glass, water glass, whatever you want to call it, not a candle holder, but we're going to be using it to turn it into a tea light holder. It's about the right size and it's glass and it's just a really good shape for that. You guys might recognize this from my snow globe video that I made recently with a white and red speckled rose and gold gilding. Still one of my favorite crafts. It's next to my nightstand. I love it. So this is its twin from the cupboard. It's just been off to the side for a while until I can figure out what to do with it. And today's the day. I also have a bundle of sticks, twigs, whatever you want to call them, little tiny branches from a tree. My Boswell hot melt glue gun heating up off to the side. Still obsessed with this thing. Definitely get yourself one of them. And a uh, multi-purpose tool. You guys know I love these. I haven't been using them a lot lately, but I need something to trim the twigs down to size. And this is perfect, so I'm bringing it back. That's basically everything I'm going to use. I do have a little box so that I can prop this up in front of me so you guys can see it. But yeah, basically that's everything we're going to use. I'll link it all down below, except the twigs, of course. You have to source those from your own tree or somewhere similar. But that's everything you're gonna need for this craft and let's get going. So before we get started, just basic candle safety, never burn them out of sight. For something like this, I'm going to be using tea lights in them, not votive or anything bigger. And I really don't anticipate it being a problem or the glass heating up at all. But just in case like some random freak accident happens and it does heat up, I'm using hot glue to attach the twigs because that will melt and drop the twigs off before the wood has a chance to heat up to the point to catch fire. So if you use a different type of glue like E6000 that could possibly just take the heat and transfer it. There shouldn't be any heat on the glass anyway. It's a very small candle and a very large glass, but just in case, safety first, attach your items to the outside with hot glue and that way it's an early warning system at the very least because the hot glue will melt and the items will start to fall off before it could be a fire hazard but also never burn your candle if you're not there but enough with the fire safety we're gonna get right into the craft so i have my hot glue gun heating up and basically i just need to find my sticks which are way 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 too big for this and start trimming them into the appropriate lengths these are all different sizes and shapes and like squiggle abilities so I'm not quite sure which ones I want to use. I don't want to use like the super thin ones. I think I want to use like some of the thicker ones. These are really cool branches too because they've got like these little like buds coming off of them. So I'm going to use those at the bottom because I think it's going to look more like a little forest of trees and I'm excited for that. So basically take this, take this, take this, put it down, figure out where you want it. It's probably about that bud and make your first little snip just like that. So this is about the right size. But now that I have just about the right size, I think that's just about right. It's gonna go down and fit perfectly. And just about right means not hanging over the top. Again, fire safety, you don't want anything curving over the top, particularly wood. So it's gotta stay on the outside and it has to go straight up or curve out. So that's about the right size. This I'm going to use as my little stencil. And we're just going to trim a bunch of these twigs down into the appropriate size. And once I have them all enough to like kind of surround this, then we're gonna get going. This part I'm probably gonna speed up though. So it'll be like a quick little twig snipping montage as opposed to like watching the whole thing real time. All right, so all of the twigs are cut. Ooh, there's a bunch of them. I have my glass here. I'm gonna put it up here. Hopefully you guys can see that just fine. I have my hot glue gun working. I'm gonna put away my multi-purpose tool. It has done its job. And yeah, so I am basically just going to be gluing the sticks to the outside of the cup to make the candle holder. Like I said, really simple, easy craft, but it's gonna be super like transformational, right? Because you have a little cup that is very nondescript and looks like a drinking vessel. And then it's gonna be like a really cool woodsy candle holder at the end. So I like crafts like this that are simple. They're not super involved, but it's like really a huge transformation. So basically I just put the hot glue on a strip down your stick and glue it to the outside of the cup. Like I said, super easy, right? Perfect. Just like that. A little bit of curve is fine as long as it's not curving too far away from the cup. Make sure to get the little stringies. These things up here, don't worry about. You can cut them with um, scissors later. The little stringies from the sticks. We'll clean that all up later. And I have a couple thicker ones. So I'm going to make sure that they're kind of on opposite sides or at least not right next to each other. I don't personally want like a gradation of like thick to thin sticks. So the thick ones got to go on the other side. Hot glue down the stick. This part I might speed up too. 
I know you guys want to see like what it looks like when it's done. Otherwise you wouldn't have clicked on this video, but I don't know if you want to see me individually gluing each individual stick on there. So this is just kind of like what it starts out as, and we're going to speed this up a little bit. Maybe not even sure. I'm going to keep talking just in case. You can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like when I'm done. I'm not going to make you guys watch me individually glue each stick onto this cup. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. I knew you guys want to see what it turns out as, so I will film the whole thing and just put it through as a super speedy montage rather than making you guys watch real time because it is a little time intensive. I mean, not compared to some of my other crafts, but just compared to what it is, like literally just putting glue on a stick and sticking it to the outside of the glass. Like it takes a little longer than you would think. So I will speed that up for you. In case you guys are interested, I have decided that keeping the gun on 160 degrees Celsius, I think it is, I don't burn myself as much. I think I might have finally solved the mystery of how not to completely injure myself every time I tackle a project with hot glue. And I'm almost more excited for that than I am the scandal holder, to be honest. Okay, so here is what we are currently looking at. I have all my vertical sticks on there. Some of them like curl a little bit. Some have like interesting little branches coming off. For the most part, they end kind of below the bottom. Some of them stick up slightly, but they don't curve in, so I think it's okay. And at this point, I'm gonna add just a few of these really curved sticks to kind of go across the side. The idea for this is not to completely cover the glass because then no light would come out. There's no point in being a candle holder. But my vision for this is kind of like looking through a forest of like birch trees or like long slender trees and seeing the sunset come out. So I want a little bit of light to come through what I'm calling my tree trunks. And then you have the little like curved branches and, and a little bit is what I wanted these like little nubby branches on there for to look like the horizontal branches that come out of a tree. So I think that's gonna be just like visually really interesting and beautiful. So I've got just a handful of these and I'm just gonna break them off to the sort of appropriate size and get them glued on as best they can. They're really, really thin. They're really delicate um, and they are going over other sticks on here. So I just wanna do kind of the best I can, get some glue on there and make sure that they have as many connection points to not only the glass, but other sticks on the vase. All right, so all of the sticks are glued on. The glue has dried. I need to pull off some of the wispy still. I've unplugged my hot glue gun. We're basically done, honestly. I promised you a simple craft, didn't I? But isn't this really cool? I really love the way this looks. I know it's a super simple, easy craft, but like this is a really beautiful piece of home decor. I really like this. We're gonna pop our tea light in there and hopefully it gives us the sunset through the trees look that we're going for. Moment of truth. Wait 40 years till it lights. There we go. It's so pretty, that is so pretty. I'm gonna do a zoom in on this so you guys can see it and just kind of what it looks like. I wasn't super duper careful with the hot glue and it does show a bit, but honestly, like I'm not super worried about it. You guys can be more careful with it, but I will do a zoom in so you guys get like an honest look at what it looks like. And I think this would be really cool. Like imagine this like in your bathroom when you're like taking a bath or on the coffee table in the living room or something. Like this is just a really pretty fun craft. It reminds me of like a little winter scene. And I know we're in the middle of summer, but the weather's been crazy anyway. So we can think about winter if we want. And just a cozy winter fire is the best part of winter. So if we're gonna bring winter elements in, this is gonna be the way to do it. I hope you guys like the craft guys. Thanks so much for watching and joining me on this one. And I'll see you here again soon. Bye for now. So here is a lovely little zoom in for you guys. You can see the fire in there. It's coming through the sticks that I am calling trees beautifully, honestly. Like I think this looks so different and so fun from the way it started. I'm just gonna do a little 360 for you. And the heat doesn't seem to be a problem. The glass isn't warm at all. And honestly, even above it, it's not bad. Like tea lights don't give off that much heat. But do be careful when you burn candles of any types. Anyway, I think this is super cute, super fun and just a really easy way to transform a drinking glass into a candle holder. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.